TV detectors. In a distributed system, reasoning about time makes designing and writing algorithms quite complex. So timing assumptions need somehow to be abstracted. One way to abstract this in a very nice declarative way is to use a device in each node which we call a failure detector. A failure detector is a device that gives its opinion about whether other nodes are still alive or dead. Normally, a failure detector is implemented using heartbeats and timeout. So we use failure detector to encapsulate the notion of time and it is a black box giving suspicions regarding node failure. So, if we have a node here and this is a node Q and the failure detector exists in each node say node P so it will give its opinion this failure detector gives its opinion whether Q has crashed or is still alive so it turns out that the accuracy of suspicion whether your suspicion is correct or fail will depend on model strengths so how do we implement a failure detector a typical implementation will looks as follows we periodically exchange heartbeat messages between nodes and we devise a timeout based on worst case message round trip time. If I said my heartbeat and I did not get a heartbeat from a specific node, then the timeout has passed and then I could suspect this node. If I receive a message from the suspected node, I can uh, revise my opinion about this node, whether um, now I can revise in the sense that I will say that this node is alive, and I might increase the timeout. If I actually made a wrong decision before that, a wrong suspicion. Okay. So, a failure detector can be captured by two properties. It can be captured by the property of completeness and accuracy. You can see these are two requirements on the failure detector. And there are different ways to describe this requirement. So, what is completeness? Completeness is a requirement regarding crashed, actually crashed node. When do they have to be detected? So, completeness is talking about if a node has crashed, and here is my, this is node Q, here is node P, here I'm going to detect the crash at node P. So it's talking about if node Q has crashed, what will be my the behavior of my failure detector at P? So this is completeness. Another interesting property 
is accuracy. Accuracy is talking about if I, as a node B, detect, the, detect that P has crashed. So, did it really crash? So, this is accuracy. So, accuracy is a requirement regarding my opinion about other alive nodes when I'm allowed to um, suspect that a node has crashed. If I detect the node, did it really crash or not? Okay. So now we are going to look to different possible properties of formulating completeness and accuracy. So first of all, let us look um, just, we have two different kinds of systems. We have asynchronous system, where are the no timing assumptions. We have synchronous system, which is tight timing assumptions, and partially synchronous system, which is in between um, synchronous and asynchronous system. So, in an asynchronous system, where we do not have any timing assumptions about message propagation and processing delay, is it possible to achieve completeness? I don't know how long time a message could take, but completeness is talking about if a process crashed, I will about I will eventually detect it. So it's talking about crash processes. So one way to to achieve completeness in an asynchronous system is to suspect that all nodes have crashed. So if a node have crashed, your suspicion would be correct. Is it possible to achieve accuracy in an asynchronous system? Yes, it is possible to achieve accuracy. And there you will be quite lazy. You just, for this to be safe, you basically refrain from suspecting any node. Is it possible to achieve both in a synchronous system? So the answer is emphatically no. Failure detectors are feasible only in synchronous and partially synchronous system. And for these two different types of systems, we are going to devise different kind of feasible failure detectors. By feasible, I mean feasible that can be implemented given this model. Let us look to the requirement completeness now. So, we will define the notion of strong completeness. Strong completeness is saying that every crashed node is eventually detected by all correct nodes. So if a node crashes, it will be detected node. So this is a just abbreviation of a crash and this abbreviation of detect. This is a node say P and Q. And it says that every node that crash will be eventually detected by all alive correct nodes. So another way to say it is that there exists a time, there exists a time after which all crashed nodes are detected by all correct nodes. So after a while all correct nodes knows exactly which nodes have crashed. And we will study only failure detectors of this type. The reason that this failure detector is actually quite realistic to implement in, of course, in synchronous systems and partially synchronous system. In partially synchronous system, you just increase, um, you, ju you just, if you don't receive a message from a certain node, after a time you can always suspect it. 
and uh, suspected means that you say okay this this node is is uh, has failed so that will make sure that all crash nodes are eventually detected another possible property of or another variant of completeness is weak completeness we completeness says that every crashed node is eventually detected by some correct node. So if a node crashes, some of the alive nodes will detect. So there exists a time after which each crashed node is detected by some correct node, and these might be different correct nodes that detect the crash. Okay, just to summarize, so, completeness can be either strong or weak. Strong means all correct nodes detect the crash. Weak says that for each crash node, some correct node will detect the crash. We go now to the other interesting property that of a failure detector, which is accuracy. So accuracy is talking about how accurate, once we say that some node has crashed, how accurate is our detection. So it raises the question, is a node crashed? And here is our detect detection. So it is asking how accurate is this. If I detect a node, then how accurate is if I detect the node, the node has really crashed. Okay. Accuracy, of course, as you can imagine, depends on the underlying system. So what is strong accuracy first? Strong accuracy says that I will always detect crashed nodes only. So no correct nodes is no no correct node is ever suspected. Another way of saying it for all nodes P and Q if P does not suspect Q, or P does not suspect Q unless Q has crashed. So the question is, this is uh, realistic? We, I mean, you can really imagine that it's only realistic if we have very good timing assumptions about message propagation in the system and about the processing time of um, other nodes. At least we have upper bounds on this. Uh, and it happens to be that this is strong accuracy is only realistic in synchronous systems. Very good. So it's so it is a strong assumption. It requires synchrony. Synchrony. And it requires that there is no premature timeouts in the system. So let us look to a variant of accuracy, which we call weak accuracy. Weak accuracy states that there is some correct node in the system, there is some correct node in the system, which is never suspected by any node. So any all other nodes say P1 P1 to P whatever N minus one and this is P zero. This node is well connected and it is never suspected as long as it is a correct. Weak accuracy also say that at any time, 
there will be a correct node that it will never be suspected by other nodes in the system. So the correct node might change with time. Okay. So there is exist node, and exist a correct node P, all nodes will never suspect P. Again, this requires that this node is very well connected, and it requires that the communication network is very reliable and predictable. The timing is predictable between these uh, these nodes and the correct node. Okay. So that is weak accuracy. So until now, when it comes to accuracy, we have strong accuracy and we have weak accuracy. One can go further and define another possible property of accuracy which is weaker than the two that we have just defined. One is called eventual strong accuracy which says we will be strongly accurate but after some time. So after some time, the failure detector will provide strong accuracy. And we can also go and talk about eventual weak accuracy, which is like weak accuracy, but it will happen after some time. So that is. So after some time, the requirements are fulfilled. Prior to this time, everything can happen. So I can suspect and declare that a correct node has failed. And this, of course, suspicion should be revised later on. So this is, is actually um, a, a weak kind of accuracy and when this weak accuracy can be achieved this weak form of accuracy the eventual weak accuracy of course when you think of eventually things work well so you think of partial synchronous systems.